Okay, Matt, ready? Okay, open your mouth. <laughs> Caitlin's getting her lip hair removed. No. <laughs> I'm getting hair treatment. I'm flying to Turkey. Big step for me. <laughs> um, you know, I just couldn't take Caitlin looking at men with hair. Andrew. <laughs> she likes Jason Momoa, so I'm like, all right. Are you gonna grow it out like that? No, I'm not. <sighs> See, this is what I mean. This is what I, I mean. I love you regardless of what you look like. Mm. But I'm so excited for you. Mm. For you? No. <laughs> You're so excited for you. You want to run your hair like that? I can't oh, wait. Yeah. Can't wait. I can't wait to like when I put my glasses on and I just walk out and, just... <laughs> and all the girls. <sighs> all the girls? Yeah, yeah. Because I like you know. <clears throat> and dudes. I I'm sorry, girls and dudes. Yeah. Right? Don't don't leave them out. Yeah, I don't leave them out. So his name is Dr. Sinek, all right? His social media, we're gonna drop it right there. Boom, boom, Instagram, YouTube, all that. He's a good surgeon from what yeah. I see. He's done many, many famous football or soccer players. His social media looks great too. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's his amazing. His videos are great. That's really what I think enticed you to choose him, right? Yeah, because so many companies reach out to me as a YouTuber, mm -hmm. and I've always been a person who believes that hair brings you no value, you don't need hair, and it took me a long time to get that mindset, that mentality, to where I could overcome the insecurity of being bald. And then now that I've overcome the insecurity of being bald and I have a beautiful wife and family, I feel like maybe now I can get hair and offer people an opportunity to where maybe you don't look as good bald as I do, you know what I mean? Cause I'm oh my God. He's really doing this so he could have hair as good as him. Yeah, that's my <laughs> thing is like, I look at my son and I say, what happened? Where did I go wrong? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, so like the biggest thing for me, um, and I still get insecure about it. We went ski shooting for Thanksgiving and there's a video of me just absolutely hitting the dime pieces. And I looked at the back of my head and I see this big, white hole and then I'm just like god that is atrocious so I usually just shave my head so I don't have to see that type of stuff but um, I'm definitely excited for the opportunity to maybe see what I look like with yeah. some hair and see how it goes you know what I mean I'm excited um, and I also really want to get this done for people who can't afford it that need to fly overseas and need to find a surgeon and a really good one a good one and I just want to make sure it's safe for everybody and make sure everyone knows it's super easy and affordable. And I think that by doing this, I can be like a beacon of hope for the people with ugly heads. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's not fair that I have a symmetrical, good, bald head. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people, um, he doesn't have very good head. Bumpy lumpy. It, you know it I mean? is bumpy yeah, lumpy. Like, That's good thing he has hair. Yeah, and he's got this big ear, so. <laughs> Mommy too, it's okay buddy. <laughs> mm, I, Ah, 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 ah. So I'm super excited about the opportunity ah. to give people something that they can really use later on in life. Because it tore me up being bald. I went through so many. I, I quit a job because I left my Propecia at home and my ride wouldn't turn Daddy. around. So I got out of the car and walked home. Mama. Because my hair was more important Daddy. than my job at the time. Because my image was so important to me because I wanted to find the perfect mate. And I thought that my looks mattered more than anything. And as I got older, I understood that it was more about character, personality, discipline, hard work. So that I've earned all this stuff, now I can actually fix my hair. <laughs> In sync, baby. You uh, sneeze too? No, I'm fake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where's the camera? There it is. All right, we're here. Well, we're in Washington, D.C. I didn't want to start recording in Orlando because I almost missed a flight. Oh, God. Look at that biting. Look at that baldness. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So, finally made it to Istanbul. Let me tell you something about flying on a nine-hour plane. Don't do it. And if you've done it before, why haven't you warned us? about how terrible that is. It's just not fun. 
I don't think I want to fly around Earth anymore. Okay. Can we set up? I carried my bag too. I feel cool. Okay, what a journey. We're at the hotel here in Istanbul, Turkey. Look how they set me up. And what the craziest thing is, is in the United States, you go to Publix, you buy a strawberry, you go to Walmart, you buy a strawberry, you go anywhere. They're white in the middle, right? The United States be poisonous with GMOs, 100%. The strawberries in the United States right now, go to the store, buy strawberries, cut them, they're white, and they taste sour. They're not real. But look at this view. What? Bathroom's nice, you know? So yeah, I just got my blood work done and the EKG thingy where they check my heart and everything, make sure everything's good. Tomorrow I have the consultation surgery. I'll do the consultation first, surgery after, and then the next day I'll wash and do all that stuff. Oh, I miss Caitlin so much. I decided to leave my clothes on the floor to remind me of her. She's gonna kill me for that one, but it's okay. <clears throat> like I said, look at it. Everything's looking great, right? This is the rooftop restaurant. It's an Italian restaurant. So I ordered a steak because that's just who I am. Look at that. How do you like it, Caitlin? Is it good? It's that day. It's the day. Cha 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 chia. They paid for everything for me to do this. They paid for the flight, you know, they paid for the surgery, they paid for the hotel. The service here has been absolutely immaculate. All right, I love you. It's time to go get some hair. <laughs> I am on the way to the clinic right now. He's gonna check my head out, you know, tell me what he can do, what he's gonna do. Hopefully I can get the 4,500 grafts. I'm not gonna lie, this cigarette smoking thing they do here just reminds me of my childhood. Because when I was a young boy, my, my dad used to take me to dinner. They used to smoke cigarettes at dinner, you know? You know, I keep looking at these signs and I'm like, damn, the letters are all mixed up. I can't read them. It's like I have dyslexia, but it's really just another language and I'm an idiot. How old are you? 35. Oh, you old. They took it. They just finished the extraction. Now I'm gonna do the implant. This is, I'm eating. This is my homeboy. You wanna say what's up, YouTube? Uh, what's up? <laughs> the anesthesia on the back of my head was painful, but I'm doing all right. We're making it, it's gonna be good. I think so. I think it's gonna be good. We use the, this pen for the DHA, mm -hmm. which is the DHA method. Mm -hmm. In our hands, we will slap the grass, mm -hmm. and one by one, we put in the inside the pan, mm -hmm. and we give the her, the her, she is one by one implanting. Mm -hmm. so you can see the hole inside yeah. in the pan. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's all. So it's almost like a tattoo. Yeah, it's uh, like a tattoo. Oh. So so now I am currently getting the transplant. See, it's no pain. It's no discomfort. It's not bad at all. It's a pretty comfortable, relaxing situation. And the only thing that they've done so far is anesthesia. I didn't take the Xanax. I don't really like Xanax. It makes me feel like groggy and I don't like it. So, I mean, they're doing an amazing job. Very comfortable still. Doing wonderful. Now, take the painkillers. So we have about 1,200 left. That's what we got going on right now. It's still very comfortable, no pain. Now we're almost done. We're done. We are done. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah, spray me, yeah, go ahead. It, my head burns, so it feels like I have really bad sunburn on my head. I'm already happy about what I see. Thoroughly impressed. These guys are great. Great team. I'm super excited. I'm impressed. I'm so impressed, you know what I mean? Like. You know, my head's a little swollen right now, but my bandages are falling off my neck. They took some hair off my neck. They covered the front of my head. They they said they could put some in the back, in my bald spot back there, which is what we talked about in the beginning. <laughs> but he's like, do you really want to sacrifice a full head of hair for the back? He said, come back in a year. We can take care of the back. 
That's okay. So if you get a hair transplant and you can only pull, let's say, 3,000 grafts from your head because you're not hairy as a wildebeest like me, you could always let that heal over a year and go get more grafts. But if they take, they, so the, I could only get 4,600 because if they take more than that, then it will destroy the whole, you know, back. But if they take a certain amount and then let it heal, it looks good, doesn't look that bad, and then you can move forward. So, <sighs> All right, so today is the first day that I got my first wash, and I mean, I feel so relieved to be cleaned and, and everything, and um, the pain isn't really that bad. It's kind of like a sunburn a little bit on top of my head. Uh, I slept for a few hours last night, so I feel better, but uh, I want to say that this company, this establishment, um, the efficiency, the effectiveness, the, the, the way they cater to the guest, I mean, it's been one of the most professional businesses that I've ever experienced. If I was going to start a business in the United States, I would do it exactly this way. I have never been more impressed with a company in my life. Um, and um, they, they just did such an immaculate job. And I, I, can't, I can't thank them enough for this opportunity that they've given me. And it's been wonderful, you know. Um, they're giving you all the information you need step by step and there's nothing that gets missed. It's, it's they, they, with a fine tuned comb. They just hit every point, every detail. And I really appreciate them and uh, I, Dr. Sinek and all that they've done for me. And I, I'm excited to see how it ends up, you know? And thank you, Dr. Sinek. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. <clears throat> My last morning in Turkey. I'm about to get out of here for it for a good, get back to the kids. Oh man, I'm, I miss my babies. I miss my wife so much. Oh man, I'm ready to go home. It's a beautiful, beautiful place though. Beautiful place. Definitely changed my perspective on this side of the world. Can't listen to the US media too much. Going home, Turkish Airlines, check it out. I'm ready to see my babies. Oh, babies. And of course, Caitlin, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I, she didn't get the surprise because I ran up and snuck up on yeah, her. Yeah, she snuck up on me and... She's driving because I've been flying for 20 hours right now. I've been awake for 24 hours. Oh, what a journey, guys. When I get, we'll get home, we'll do like a good shot of like... Yeah. I think I'll, when I wake up in the morning, it's not as swollen because I sleep. And I take some more anti-inflammatories. Love you so much. I love you too. Now take me to my children. We're going. Please. Uh, <laughs> hey! Hi! Hello, oh, my little ch ch chia pet. Caitlin just took a poop. I did not. <laughs> he had surgery nine days ago. Nine days ago. So we're scabby. Yeah. Looks mm -hmm. good though, in my opinion. You look great. You look young. You look fresh. Succulent. This lighting's not good, so I look a little older. Angle's funny. But listen, <laughs> she's been taking care of me. I have. I've yeah. been using. Mm -hmm. All this stuff. Yeah. Dr. Cynic. And right now we're about to put foam on his head. Then we have to let it sit for 30 minutes. Yeah. Then we wash. Mm -hmm. So this is how I do the foam. So like 30 minutes of the day, I'm like, I got nothing to do. You just spray it on there. And then you just lightly tap. We'll be back in 30 minutes time. We will. This is, it's time. It's time to get wet. All right, ready? Who's ready to get wet? Who wants Me. to get wet? Is that ready? Okay, open your mouth. <laughs> I did not. I can't believe you just did that. put the hair in doesn't hurt at all so but where they took it out of kind of hurts You're okay. we just we just wanted you to see the washing process you know what I mean because you guys haven't we haven't shown you that yet so we're at day 10 this is the scab removal beginning maybe she's gonna pick them off and save them for later Ew. 
they go really good on Green Bay casserole. On what casserole? Green Bay. Green Bay casserole. I'm, I'm traumatized, PTSD. <laughs> From the Cowboys <laughs> game, so it just comes out. Green bean casserole, you know the French onion things? That's what these are. Careful, you just root the hair out. I'm just kidding. Andrew. I'm kidding. It's day 12. We're still washing scabs off. I think today will be the last day yeah. we wash scabs off. So it doesn't hurt as bad anymore at all. The extraction parts are the only parts that really hurt anymore. Where I got the hair implanted really never hurt and actually never really got itchy. Yeah. The only itchy parts were where they extracted from. Yeah, the good thing about all this though is there's tons of instructional YouTube videos and they have like a Q&A chat that you can talk to on WhatsApp at all times. Yeah. So any questions you guys have will always be answered. That's the best part about it. Jeez. Yeah. It's going to be a long it thins process. A little, it's a long process. Right. But I think it looks fabulous. So over the next few months, my head will look like a lollipop fell on the ground, dog hairs on it. <laughs> it look bad. All right, I'm going to be wearing lots of hats. Okay, you guys are used to it. It's going to be okay. Just hang in there. Wait. Bye. This is day 14, guys. All right? Right? Mm -hmm. We're here, locked in. Yeah. This is important because I finally got the link for the hair surgery 10% discount if you use my link. I'm going to put that in this video. Yep. So I've been waiting to make this piece of the video to let you know 10% off if you use my link. Boom. Boom. Get your hair fixed for the low.